ladies and gentlemen. American students did very poorly in math. And math scores for U.S. students hit an all-time low on international exam. So what they did was they tested 620,000 students from 81 countries and the U.S. students hit an all-time low on the international exam, did one of the worst. Now, you're supposed to be this advanced country. You're always claiming you're number one. And you sure don't perform like somebody that's number one. That's all I got to say. So math scores for U.S. students plummeted to an all-time low on international exams that marked the first comparison of global achievement since the pandemic upended education, according to a new report that shows widespread declines among participating countries. That's a reflection of your teachers, but see in America, they don't like holding teachers accountable if the students are doing poorly. They don't do that here. You know, to me, if you got a classroom full of students and those students are doing bad, you know, like Karen coming to the black neighborhood to teach our students and they're doing poorly, she should be fired. And there should not be a union protecting that. I'm just saying. So data released Tuesday showed a 13% point plunge in math for American 15 year olds on exams known as program for international student assessment. The tests were given to 620,000 students in 81 countries around the globe. These results are another piece of evidence showing the crisis in mathematic achievement. Again, what are these teachers doing in the classroom? You know, I noticed one thing, homeschooled children are excellent in math, but children that go to public school, they suck. So let's move on. So they're saying, yes, this is a crisis. Yeah, you know, we always talking about something being a crisis and then nothing gets done about it. So math scores in the U.S. tumble from an average of 478 of 1,000 in 2018 to 465 in 2022. The scores in 2022 was 18 points lower than in 2003, the year the exam was first taken. Iceland, Norway, Poland, and Slovenia described the traditionally high performing had even higher double digit drops in math. So these European countries are all dropping in math. Okay. So the whole world is struggling in math. The U.S. result was just below two other, uh, two points from 2006 to 2015. For the U.S., the brighter news was that the reading and science performance held steady. Scores show no significant change uh, from 2018 to 2022, according to the findings. But those findings track some assessments given domestically. The relative ranking of the United States improved even in math. It's now sixth among 81 countries in reading, 29th. Uh, primarily because of other countries that once outperformed the United States, including France, Portugal, Iceland, and Norway, posted scores that were statistically tied. PISA exams measured the literacy of 15-year-olds in math, science, and reading, and are typically given every three years. 
The most recent tests were delayed a year because of the pandemic. They are coordinated by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. So the tests are intended to show how well students can apply what they've learned in and outside of classrooms as they near the end of their schooling. In the United States, students tend to be in 10th grade when they are tested. The U.S. rankings improved, though U.S. students reported longer school closings during the pandemic than were reported in other OECD countries. Okay, so most of the changes in scores was not due to how long schools were closed. The pandemic influence performance was not unlike that of a country's a foremost standardized test. These results put U.S. achievement in the international context at a very important time in our history. So. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, of course, they're calling for, you know, higher scores in math and class and teaching and training strategies to help close the gaps. You know, it's the usual stuff you always hear. But America never ranks at the very, very top, you know, despite the fact that they claim they're number one, they, you know, number one in words only number one in words only so y'all please tell me what you think about this video please leave your comment and subscribe don't forget to hit on the notification bell and i'll see you on the next video peace family